What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to open up the brand new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Extreme Force Box for you guys. So yeah, of course, this is the brand new set that just came out for Japan. It is the set right after Circuit Break. It just came out, I guess, uh, late last week. And of course, that means that we'll get the set in English on, I believe it's February 2nd of 2018. So, not too far away, beginning of next year, basically. And of course, this set includes brand new Link Monsters for us, and it gives us these new archetypes, the Jack Knights, the Tendangles, I think, are the other ones, and and then, of course, you're getting the Mythical Beasts, which are a new Pendulum archetype. So there's a lot of really cool th stuff in this set, so let's go ahead and go through it. And real quick, too, before we go through that, I also got these card sleeves as well. If you guys want to see them, they're from the new structure deck that just came out for Japan as well. Of course, we're getting that structure deck pretty soon, I think, for us as well. But I just want to show these because I thought they were just really cool looking. And, of course, just like with any other OCG box opening, I got this from Jokarad.com. So be sure to check them out. Link in the description. It's where I get all these different uh, Japanese cards that open up on my channel. So I'll have a link to them if you guys want to uh, check them out for yourself. Also, next to me, I have my iPad. That way, uh, I can... Yeah, I don't, can't read Japanese, obviously. So uh, I'm using it so I can uh, figure out some of these names. Because I don't have everything memorized, obviously, and... Yeah, I'll have to pause every so often to look up a name. As you guys know that with these openings, but just in case some people out there don't know. I really wish I could read Japanese, though. That'd make these openings so much easier. Maybe one of these days we will. I gotta learn how to do that. It's on my bucket list, I guess. But yeah, you also get this card divider, by the way. I hadn't really talked about these, but yeah, you can kind of just cut them out of there. And, I don't know, kind of a neat thing that Japan does that we don't have. And yeah, let's go ahead and open up our packs. By the way, these are Japanese packs, so that means they don't get a hollow per pack like we do. When this set's out for us, it will have a hollow per pack, just like our other sets. But there's a brand new Cyverse card. Remember, we talked about him pretty recently. I think that's one of the Jack Knights, Miss, uh, Mythical Beasts. I always want to call them Mystical Beasts. New Ghost Trick Trap, by the way. That's cool. And then we also have this card. I don't know the name of this one. That's really cool looking, though. I think it's one of the Ten Dangles or something like that. You know what? I'll look it up real quick. Uh, let's see. It is uh, Ten Dangle Hound, actually. So, that's pretty cool looking. It's one of, like I said, it's one of the brand new archetypes. Not bad. I haven't really tested them out yet. I need to. Another Cyvers for us. Also, too, I should say this. I'm using a brand new microphone. So, if you guys notice the difference, let me know in the comments. Anyway, the new artifact, Molnir. That's awesome. Talk about this card. Though. It's a new flip monster. And already we have an Ultra Rare! This is a brand new Link Monster, too. We talked about it re really recently. It's one I definitely want when it comes out in English. What's its name again? Because, yeah, I, I'm terrible at remembering names. Let's see, it is a Skull Deet, the uh, Chain Draco Serpent. So yeah, this card is amazing. Like, this is a really good Link Monster. Its effect gets stronger the more monsters you use to Link Summon into it. It's a Link of Four, and its artwork just looks so cool to me. It kind of looks like a Black Skull Dragon, sort of. <laughs> kind of new artwork for that. I don't know, but it is definitely one I want to get in English. I really hope it's not going to be too high rarity for us. But at least I got the Ultra Rare version from Japan. It's one of the best cards of the set, in my opinion. Oh, there's one of the Jack Knights. I might actually build those because they're knights. I don't know. I haven't really tested them out yet. I really should. There's that new tuner monster. Oh, there's that guy dance or guy dancing or something. I forget exactly the name. We talked about it pretty recently. I, I love that. That's one of the best artworks. And uh, another one of the Jack Knights. He's cool looking. I like the different swords and stuff they have. I believe, yeah, he's one of the Jack Knights. Oh, there's one of the brand new rockets as well. I'm just happy we finally got the rockets over here. Although I don't really like the name change. And there's, uh, there's like the new Symphonic card, or it has Symphonics on it, I should say. And then the new uh, World Legacy card. This one is the Shield. I think we talked about it pretty recently, too. It's just kind of a... It's like supposed to be one for, I believe, Jack Knights, kind of, because each one kind of goes with different things, like one with Crawlers, one went with uh, World Chalice. So, pretty cool looking. I wonder if there's going to be like a... Like if they're going to be their own archetype eventually, or something. Maybe they'll make like a giant Megazord or something. I don't know. It'd be pretty cool. What else do we have here? See, oh, that's the new uh, uh, Death card. It's uh, Death Tasmania, I think, or something like that. Tasmanian? It's like Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> and we have a new Link Monster afterwards. This is a super rare. Let me check out its name real quick, because I don't remember it either. Or I don't remember the name. It is uh, Underclock Taker. That's pretty cool. I believe it is a Cyverse as well. Pretty interesting looking. I don't really know what he's supposed to be. You know, it looks like a computer part or something, I guess. And one of the new uh, Mythical Beast cards. Like I said, they're Pendulums, and they're actually pretty cool. I think they're going to come in handy for us. They deal with spell counters, too, if you guys remember what spell counters are. <laughs> I hadn't really heard about those in a while. There's Cyverse again, Jack Knights, everything on that. And uh, then we have this card. I don't 
I remember us talking about it. I don't remember the name. I'm going to check, actually. It is a DD Pursuer. That's what it is. Okay. So, yeah, this is actually a brand new DD monster. So, I, I think that's kind of cool. They actually got some kind of new support. And, of course, it's not like new support for the DDD monsters like Ricci uses. This is actually for the original archetype. You guys remember them, the DD archetype. So, yeah, <laughs> it looks awesome. And I wonder how many times I can say D in a sentence. Seriously. <laughs> But yeah, it is cool they got some new support. That was kind of surprising. It's a pretty good card for them, too. Kind of hope they get a Link Monster or something next. Oh, there's that new Spirit Monster. You can change uh, where it's going to be on the field and it gets different effects. And it looks like we have another Ultra Rare. This is the uh, Jagnite Link Monster. Let's see. Its name is... I'm going to look that up, too, real quick. It is a Jagnite of the World Scars. So this card looks awesome. It looks like some kind of, like... Uh, uh, video game boss or something to me, you know? Maybe even some kind of Bloodborne. Of course, he's not really evil enough looking, but just something that's really insane looking, and I love the artwork for him, too. He's, like, made out of, I guess, all their swords, technically. So that's really cool. Link 3 as well. 3,000 attack. Might be one of our strongest Link monsters. I guess barrel uh, load is, like, 3,000 as well, but, you know, that's still one of the stronger ones. There's a rocket... Everything too. This is a new tuner monster, by the way. It's pretty cool. You can like revive a monster and you can basically synchro summon, I guess, with them if you want. And we got another one. This time a secret rare. That is awesome. Right afterwards, we get the secret rare version of a Jack Knight of the uh, World Scars. So that's cool. That's one of the main cards I actually wanted from this set anyway, just because I thought he looked cool. I mean, again, I hadn't tested them out yet. I really should. I mean, they're knights. So Cyber Knight needs to build them, right? Otherwise, I don't deserve my username, you know? <laughs> it's just how it works. If they're knights, I should build them. Another Cyvers, I believe, on that one. Molnir. So you got that Spirit Monster. Here's a pretty cool looking card. I like this one because it has the new uh, Subterra Link Monster on it. So that's cool. And even Archer. And then here's the new Dinosaur card. What's the name of this one again? This is actually a really good card for them, too. Uh, let's see. It is uh, Overtex uh, uh, Cotus, I guess. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, it's actually really good dinosaur support because you can use the evolution pills with it. And also it works with like Tyranno Infinity and stuff too. It works with like the banishing dinosaur cards. Not bad. It's like they're going with a new strategy after the ban list and everything's kind of hurt them with True Kings and all that. Oh, there's that dragon card too. I remember us talking about that one. He's pretty cool in the show and everything. Then we have a DD Pursuer again. That's cool. I keep thinking that that's a Cyverse monster. I'm just, I guess, used to seeing Cyverse. There's the other rocket monster. I don't think we've gotten this one yet. See? And, oh, here's the, the card that's getting a lot of hype for, well, certain reasons. Uh, you guys can, you know, figure out those reasons for yourself. We'll, we'll just say that. I believe it's actually supposed to be, though, a pretty good Link monster. It's one I haven't really tried out just yet. And, of course, the name is Ventriloquist, uh, Clara, and Lucica. So, yeah, again, kind of obvious why a lot of people like this card, but it is a pretty cool Link monster. So, you gotta have the new waifu card, right? <laughs> and, of course, the dinosaur, again. Yeah, at least we're getting all these Link monsters, though. Seriously, I hadn't really noticed that. Uh, I looked over, I was like, well, all of our hollows are Links. I think you can also get that card as like a secret in this set. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to want that one, especially. I'm sure we'll get a play mat with them on it, too. And here's another uh, new Link Monster Force. I believe this is for Cyverse as well. What is the name of this one? I actually looked it up a while ago. It is a Flame Administrator. Pretty cool looking. I like his design. Kind of looks like a Transformer. Kind of blocky Transformer. It kind of looks like the new... Uh, talker monster. I forget the name of it just yet, but it's the red one that we're getting out of the next structure deck. So it reminds me of. There's that flip effect monster again. And another late monster for us. Which one is this? It is, uh, let's see, it's a rare. So it is Recovery Sorcerer. Uh, yeah, it actually, ha oh yeah, we did talk about this one recently. It actually has a pretty good effect, sort of, like the idea is good, but just some of the wording is a little weird. Like, it has to be that turn. I think it revives a monster and stuff, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, it's a new Cyverse Link, and it had some potential, but just some of the text that's in there, if they just take some of that part of the text out, take some of those restrictions, I think it really would have been a good card. Yeah, it was one of those three Link monsters we talked about, though. There's a lot of Cyverse in this, obviously. I mean, you got to. 
And uh, yeah, here's the other one. This is the Gardener one, right? Yeah, Security Gardener. Uh, again, it's one of those that could have been really good, I feel like, but you can't even use it to link to summon another monster. And that's what I don't like about this card. It's pretty good for protecting yourself, I guess. But other than that, I mean, since it can't be used as part of a link summon, I feel like that really hurts this card. But I do feel like, you know, the base card is like a good idea. So close, you know, just sad to see that. Jack Knights, Molnir again. And uh, yeah, here's the other one right afterwards. This is the third one we talked about too. It is a Vector Square Archfiend. Yeah, again, this one is pretty cool. It's probably the best of the three, honestly, but it was still hurt by its own effect. Really cool though uh, on design. I mean, seriously, their artworks are all really neat. And it is a Cyverse. So if you're looking for that, and here we are. Here's the new Chimera as well. Do it yourself, Chimera. Was that the name? Let me double check, make sure I'm saying that right. It, or do little Chimera, excuse me, okay, I was kind of close, uh, yeah, our brand new, uh, basically it's like Mass Star Boy, this time though it's the fire attribute one, if you want to think of it like that, it's the opposite really of Mass Star Boy, so pretty cool to see this card, and I like it too, because it's a cat, basically, or Chimera, but yeah, looks like a cat, so that's awesome. Sorry if this video is going to be a little longer too, I mean, you got to talk about these cards, you can't just go through them, like, real quick, because they look so freaking cool. Jack Knights and everything, and uh, here's a new card for uh, for the, uh, I want to say bullets all the time, rockets. It is Revolver uh, Boot Sector, so it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad they're getting some more support. I kind of figured they would because, you know, with uh, Revolver using them, there you go. Another of that Cyrus. I really think so. I, I think he's a Cyrus. I should look it up because I keep saying that. I'm not 100% sure. There's a new uh, Zombina, or it's not Zombina, of course, but it's the one that goes with her. I'm actually going to look up the name real quick because it'll bother me otherwise because it's actually a good card. So it's actually a Zombino. So that's pretty cool. Kind of sad on the <laughs> on the flavor text. I don't remember what it is. I'm not going to read that off, but it is a level 4 normal zombie monster with 2,000 attack. So that's actually pretty good. You can use that with, like, Rescue Rabbit. And then we have this rare card. Is this for the... Yeah, that must be for the Mythical Beasts. Uh, let's see. It is Magical Boost. So, yeah. Rare card for them. Looks cool. Another one of the Rockets. Oh, <laughs> almost messed up there. And uh, which one do we have here? What is this? It's uh, It looks like a Pendulum card. Is that one for them as well? It's Pendulum Paradox is the name. I actually have it right next to me. Kind of cool looking, though. I'm glad we're still seeing, like, pendulums and stuff. I never wanted to go back, like, what Zexel did, where it was only Xyz. You know, I I'm happy that we're seeing, you know, pendulums and all kinds of other forms of summoning lately. Jack Knights, everything on that yet again. And, uh, we have this card. What is the name of this one? It looks cool. Let's see. It has, like, a one of the Chalice cards. Or it's the Chalice that's on there. Let's see. It is the uh, True Depths Sleeping Inside the World Legacy. So does that mean the World Legacy are evil? I, I don't know the lore, honestly. So it looks like Chalice and, and Lee from World Legacy is, like, corrupted. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that does say something about the lore. I haven't read up on it lately. It'd be pretty cool if they... I wish they would make, like, videos on it or something. And do we have another link? Yeah, we do. Okay. This is the Altergeist, right? I think that's right. It, it looks like one of them. I mean, it is Altergeist uh, Hextia. So that's cool looking, a new Alter Guys card. I thought that was what it is, you know, because it just looks like them. Pretty cool design, Link 2. And of course, another one of Pendulum Paradox. Yeah, all of our hollows are Link monsters, though. That's funny. There are a few, you know, hollows in the set that aren't Links. It's just, I guess the majority of them are actually Link monsters. So that's just how it's working. Another one of that, you know, the evil <laughs> legacies, basically. Really hope I could get the new talker monster, but I don't know. We might have gotten everything already. And there's an ultimate rare. Man, it is so good to see ultimate rares from a box again, right? Uh, that looks awesome. This, this is the reason, one of the, the reasons I should say, that I still get Japanese boxes to open up because you can still get ultimate rares and it looks awesome. This, of course, is one of the uh, Mythical Beast cards and it is uh, Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. So this card looks awesome too. It's like their boss monster, obviously, as you guys can see. And as an ultimate rare, that is really cool looking. I was hoping we'd get an ultimate rare. So that looks amazing.
There we go, we finally have a hollow that's not a Link Monster. <laughs> a little bit more variety. That looks really cool. I, I wish that they would just bring back Ultimate Rares for us in the main sets. Oh, we might have a Link Monster. I, I can't tell. Let's see, and it is... Oh, cool, it is a different Link Monster for us. For a second, I was hoping it was the Talker Monster, but this is an Ultra Rare. Uh, what is the name of this one? Let's see, oh yeah, it's one of the, the Tindangle uh, Link Monsters. It's Tindangle Acute Cerberus this time. That's kind of freaky looking, isn't it, to anyone else? Kind of cool, though, too. So, another Link Monster for us. I was kind of, like I said, hoping it was the Talker Monster, but still, I mean, it's we're basically one of each of the Link Monsters, so can't really complain from that. Trying to think what else I want from this. Like I said, I guess just the talker monster. Oh, here's another one of the uh, beast cards. So that's kind of cool. It's a continuous for them. I think we talked about it. Don't remember exactly what it does, though, unfortunately. Don't have everything memorized just yet, you know? It's probably a good thing, because they're going to probably change some of these names. Rocket, more beasts. Have that again. And oh, yeah. <laughs> now this is one of my favorite cards from the set. Honestly, bad artwork. The Skull Servants are just trying to go on vacation, or maybe they're coming back from vacation. Not really sure. And oh, <laughs> they are just not having a good day. I mean, just look at that artwork. Skull Servant on there, and of course, uh, Lady in White, I believe, and Skull Prince, and even the dog. I, I don't remember the name, unfortunately, right now. But uh, yeah, that is so awesome. That artwork. Let's see. What is the name of it again? It is Sensor uh, Defrontation, I believe how you say that. So, that's awesome. I, I love that artwork. And we also have this other trap card. This is actually a pretty interesting one, too. What's the name? Archfiend's Call, I believe is the name of that. So, kind of cool. It's like that, you know, the evil guys that are, I guess, in hell or, or whatever you want to say in the dark world. Uh, yeah, they always have different cards with them on it. So, I guess more to their lore is what that's doing. I know it's like Hades and then that other dude that always fight with each other, so I guess that goes with them. And uh, we have this new card. What is the name of this one? It is uh, Lockout Gardener. Okay, that's pretty cool. Couldn't remember the name of that one. I'm trying to remember if I've seen it from the show. I've seen it a few times, but it might have been from like a video or something. Only a few packs left. There's the new Max C card, or, you know, it's not Max C, but different C cards that they have, so that's kind of cool. Then another monster right here. What is, you know what, I'll look this one up too. It is a, oh yeah, that's the Cyverse we talked about. It is a Flick Clown, so kind of cool looking. I think it's weird that it's supposed to be a clown, though. It doesn't really look like a clown to me, especially after Arc 5 and all these Performer Pals and everything. They made a bunch of clown cards then. Molnir again, so that's cool. And, uh, yeah, we have that Tindangle card. <laughs> we talked about that one before. You know what, I'll look it up real quick again, because I don't remember its name already. It's like Hound in the red. Yeah, Tindangle Hound. There you go. And only two packs left. We still have a chance for that Talker Link Monster, but I don't know. I, I think we pretty much got all of our hollows. How are the cards, though? Help us out. And uh, another one of the Jack Knights. He's pretty cool. I think this is like the second time we've gotten him. You know what, I'll look up the name, because why not? Jack Knight of the Azure Blue. So, that's pretty cool looking. I like, I like the weapons that they have and stuff. And last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with the Hollow? Let's see. I can say that with Japanese packs. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Can't say that whatever this is out in English for us, because, like I said, it'll be a Hollow per pack. It looks like we might have a Hollow. Yeah, we do. We actually ended with a Hollow. Let's see. It's one of the Jack Knights. I know that much. It is a Jack Knight of the Blue Sky. I thought it was blue for some reason in the name. So there we go. That looks awesome too. I love the swords that he's holding. So yeah, they look like boss characters or something from a video game. I really love their artwork. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look into Jack Knights. Maybe we could do a deck profile like through Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 or I don't know, Dueling Book or something. I can do a deck profile for you guys because I didn't get everything. I don't think, you know, uh, you know, the actual cards from this box, obviously, to build them. And our World Legacy Shield. So, yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I think we got some really good cards from our box, too. I mean, I'm actually tempted to get another one of these just because there's a lot of really cool cards in this. I mean, I'm glad I got that sensor card. I mean, like I said, with, with the Skull Servants on it, I, I just love that. It's like they were enjoying a good time, and they get stopped, I guess, at the airport or something. We got an Ultimate Rare, which is always cool. 
And, I mean, just all these different cards we got. We got, like, a lot of the fan favorites, as you guys can see. And even Jack Knight uh, Link Monster even got the secret version of that. So, I'm pretty happy with that. And, like I said, I need to build them just because. I mean, they have Knight in the name. So, obviously, I need to. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Again, I also got these sleeves for them, too. They kind of just threw these in for me. And uh, I've been collecting a lot of these sleeves, too. So, let me know if you guys would like to see some kind of sleeve collection video. I don't know, that might be boring, I, I don't know if you guys would like to see that kind of content or what, because I know you guys have been wanting to see a Playmat Collection video, which I just actually recorded, so we'll have that sometime really soon, but if you would like to see the different card sleeves that I have, because I have a bunch of them that are sealed, especially like Japanese sleeves that we didn't get over here, let me know, because they have some really cool artworks on them, so I didn't know if y'all would be interested in that or what, but yeah, all this I got from jockrod.com, be sure to check them out, link in the description, and of course, uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, tell me what cards you guys are most excited about from this set. Also, too, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on it. So, just like we open up the Japanese version of this set, as soon as it's out in English, like I said, I think that is February 2nd of 2018, I'll get more than one box of the set, too. And we'll do openings on that. And even, like, Circuit Break is tomorrow. That is like, whenever that set is out in English for us. So, I'm going to have an unboxing on that tomorrow. So, hope you guys are looking forward to it. And also, I know I'm <laughs> long outro, but also tell me if you guys enjoyed the new microphone. I hope it sounded a lot better. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.